boys and girls. I, I got here as fast as I could. How are you? How did it go at the hospital? The hospital? Oh, friends, you have no idea what I've been through. No possible idea. I can't begin to describe it. Sheer torture. What were you doing? Paying that bill? No, I was not paying a bill. I was having my stomach pumped. What? Incredible, huh? Fantastic. Are you serious? Would I kid about a thing like that? Have you ever had your stomach pumped? It's murder. Well, no wonder you're pale. That must have been an ordeal. Oh, tubes down the throat, needles, the works. I thought I was a goner. Food poisoning. Food poisoning? How did you get that? Oh, that's not the worst of it. I just buried my cat, Gus. Gus is dead? May he rest in peace. Let me get this straight. You ate your cat? Oh, very funny. No, my cat ate the tuna salad. Then who ate your cat? Nobody ate that cat. What are you talking about? You don't want to listen? Phil, Phil, let's start from the beginning. We'll, we'll unravel it together. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's early this morning, uh, around 7. My cat's making noises. Oh, he's an incredible cat, like a brother. He's gotten into the medicine cabinet and knocking pills into the sink. Does he do that often? Every morning. That's how he gets me up. Mm, intelligent, huh? Well, I hurry down to the kitchen. I hunt around. There's no cat food. There's nothing in the fridge but a bowl of tuna salad my mother made. Well, I give Gus some. And I make myself two toasted tuna salad sandwiches on brown. You know, keep them company. Well, Gus is finished. So I, I put him outside on the porch. Go back to bed. Around nine, I get up make myself a cup of coffee, go and get Gus, and there he is, stretched out on the porch. Dead? Stiff as a board. Oh, oh, darling, I'm sorry. Oh, well, I panicked. My first blood was food poisoning. I call an ambulance, they say, I'm at the hospital. And then the rest you know. Phil, that's terrible. What a trying day. Oh, what do you hear the rest? I come home, I'm depressed, you know, wiped out. My mother comes home from shopping. Oh, Phil, Phil, I'm so miserable. You're miserable, I say. Oh, yes, I feel wretched. I have a terrible confession to make. This morning, I back out of the driveway, I ran over Gus. I, I didn't want to wake him, so I put him on the porch. And she wonders why I'm mad. Phil, do you ever feel that life is making you the butt of some vast practical joke? Hey, what are you trying to do, make me paranoid? 